I was inspired to make this video primarily because of a recent moment during this past RLCS, but then I looked back to make sure nobody had made a video like this about own goals, and that's when I saw that I basically already made this video myself. But then I went and watched it, and I realized that this is actually completely different. Like, that video was primarily stuff from streams and videos with, you know, a little bit of competitive, but this video is actually looking at the best of the best, playing under the most pressure of their Rocket League career, and all of the times that, for whatever reason, these players ended up tragically hitting the ball into their own net. I'm sure that there's some that I've missed in this video, so let us know down below if you think that there are any that should have been included. Also, apparently the cool Rocket League YouTubers are doing this, so here it goes. Why are only 30% of you subscribed to my channel? Like, why are 70% of the viewers who watch these videos not subscribed? Why? Why, why aren't you subscribing? Come on. So let's see if we can't get that number up a little bit. So go hit the little red subscribe button and turn on notifications. Just do it. If you don't, you will probably fall back down to plat tomorrow. So yeah, there you go. All right, let's look at the worst own goals in RLCS history. All right, number 10 goes to my good friend, Fruity. I mean, we're not really good friends, but I seem to end up talking to him at RLCS like every year. Anyways, we gotta give it to him with this own goal in season seven league play versus PSG. So it was game three with the series tied one to one. And this was a classic example of a player expecting another player to hit the ball. But you know, as you probably know, that doesn't always happen. And sometimes another player's whiff will cause you to actually hit the ball where you didn't plan on hitting it. Basically right into your own goal. Without having any boost at all, because boost, if you have a lot of boost, you can you can correct your car more. You can be a little bit less accurate and oh, oh no. he didn't he didn't expect this ball to end up in front of his car. Alpha with this first touch he tries to get back to it and it's challenged by Chaussette, but this next yeah, touch to see it. He he didn't expect the whiff. The the hat trick unassisted but Fruity that was an own goal right there. He wasn't expecting that miss. All right, Magnus is actually the only player who was able to make this list twice, so that's quite an accomplishment. I guess own goaling is one of his strong suits, you could say. So this was the RLCS World Championship from season four, and Method actually had one of the best teams in the world at this point. They did really well, this was their best season ever. And unlike some of the other goals that we're going to look at on this list, this one didn't cost them the entire series, like they didn't have to go home from this one or anything like that. But I love it because I completely understand what happened and I think it's because I've been there before. The ball is falling straight down. You know somebody from the other team is probably gonna score it, so you just try to touch it, you know? <laughs> and you end up touching it straight into the goal. What's it gonna take at this point? These two teams are so close. As Fireburner, I'm gonna put that one up high. Chris Norris does get caught out, not this time. Oh! It's an own goal! NRG are two games up. Fireburner hits it into that beautiful sweet spot that drops it straight in front of net and no one is aware, no one on Method is prepared. Magnus finds himself on the wrong side of that line. In net, he pushes it in himself, and after nearly six minutes, Number eight on my list goes to a classic own goal from Cooksier from the regional championship quarterfinals of season three when Flipside Tactics went all the way to game seven versus Resident Esports. Now, for whatever reason, sometimes these high pressure situations cause players to own goal. I don't know why that would happen. It's not like I've lost an entire series from an own goal. Like, that's never happened. Anyways, check this one out. Isn't it trying to create an attack themselves, a 50-50, out to a lot. A lot uh -oh. had Magnus, but he's alone. A flick off the top bar, Ma Met. Sorry, what? What? The own goal from no. Cooksier. This is what I was scared of. Two people going for this. The flick from a lot, beating out Greasy, and Cooksier and Marky Duda both going for it. Neither from the net will the own goal be. What sense Flipside Tactics? Out of land content. Number seven goes to Miho with his wonderful little own goal from week one of North American League play back in season three. Now it's easy to blame Miho for this, but really his shot was just a little lob back at his own goal. And what I'm confused about is really his teammate, Dapper. Watch Dapper closely as Miho floats the ball into his own goal. Like he just backflips or something, I don't know. Basically today this wouldn't have been an own goal. Like no way this would have been, like there's no way this wouldn't have been saved. Miho, you heard him talking about him on the desk. We've heard Garrett G talk about this player as possibly being a top 10 player in the world. We'll see if he continues to hold up and what happened here. Nobody uh, wanted to touch it. Uh, nobody wants to talk about it, and I fuse. I'm not going. Over to the side. He's back in the middle, and this was, oh, it was Timmy with the own goal here. 
and I'm, Dapper I'm with the back. I am actually not. Nope. Nope. Rough situation there for CLG, a series <laughs> of unfortunate events. All right, number six goes to Chrome with a very important goal from way back in season one, actually before the current RLCS qualifying system, and Chrome's team was playing versus Lucky Bounce, as we'll see that name is rather ironic, and this was game three of a best of three, tied three to three in overtime, and so the next goal would basically send their team to the group stage, so this was really important at this time. Going to take that away, no one there, Torment steals that away, off the backboard, good. Touch, retrospect, the shot, that's on! Oh, oh, backboard. oh no! Chrome! 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 Unbelievable no! finish! You can see Lucky Bounce just continuing to put pressure on the net. Timothy putting a shot on there, Chrome went up, it bounced off the post and off oh. of Chrome into the net. It has to feel bad if you're Chrome there accidentally knocking that one down, but big... All right, guys, I had to include this one, even though it's not technically in RLCS. It's just such an important and sad own goal. And yeah, it had to be in here. This was DreamHack Atlanta 2017, and the Muffin Men were at the final stage of their historic run through this tournament, about to face off against the big bad Gale Force, the dominant dynasty from Europe. And it was game seven, tied one to one, and it all came down to a really sad own goal. Pools of sweat must be down below the player's feet and their hands are shaking harder than jackhammers. Touch out to midfield, actually go blue torment! Oh, no, you're kidding, there's 17 seconds and it went in. Oh my goodness. Is that going to be the way that this championship is crowned from an own goal? Favoring the Muffin Maid, they have 17 seconds to hold on. All right, number four again goes to Magnus with this amazing own goal, perhaps the most technically impressive own goal in RLCS history from way back in season three league play. This is one of those goals that you could never hit on the opponent's net. Like it could never be an actual goal. This is always just gonna be an own goal. Like this kind of madness is never on purpose. Now Magnus's team did win this game, but they did lose the series pretty heavily to Kaunos. So, you know, it's good to know that at least this goal didn't cause them to lose the series, right? But maybe it did, I don't know. So that's gonna be cleared over to the side. Team Secrecy continuing to apply the pressure onto this one bump there from Metzenaris. Not gonna end up being too difficult. What a great <laughs> redirect! <laughs> Redirects of the tournament right there! That has to be one of the nastiest redirects I've ever seen. And you know what to say, the best goals are always own goals. Look at this touch! Oh my god! That's actually unreal! If anyone pulled that off offensively, I would just I, I would just walk off. Number three goes to Gimmick with an amazing own goal from Season 7 League play in overtime of Game 3 versus Evil Geniuses. So Cloud9 managed to win the next game after this one, and you know, it's impressive coming back from an own goal to lose a game in overtime. That can be devastating sometimes, but this must be some sort of like weird communication or something. <laughs> like I honestly don't get what happened here. Like This is totally something that would happen in Season 1, but this actually happened in Season 7, and Gimmick just goes straight up for the ball and completely mishits it. My only explanation is like maybe he lagged or something. Squishy tries to follow this drip it with a pinch off the ceiling. Gimmick gets it back away, keeps the power on it too, so it's back to midfield. It's gimmick. Oh, oh, oh no. no. You're kidding. What just no, are you kidding? No. Cloud nine throw game three and we're going to game four, Chiefs. And Torment actually made a good play. He went to the he immediately went back to his own uh, back wall after that initial clear from- Number two on my list goes to the classic own goal from season one, the time when Kronovi just basically hit the ball backwards at the goal and then managed to hit it again right into the goal. This may be the most famous own goal in Rocket League history and poor Kronovi, I feel like he's never really been able to live this one down, but he did finally get overshadowed by our next one. Flick. Uh, with a double jump, the ball pops up. It's a really good way to set up a shot, and you see someone like I by oh, Power. Oh no. my what gosh! The, what in the world? He had so much time on this. You see Waffle set this one up off the wall. Best shot Kronovi. I've seen all day. Yeah, Kronovi, <laughs> though, he, he he realizes he's in a bad spot. He's like, oh wait, up, oh, and he touches it, and then he's like, wait, wait, no, and he touches it again, and it, what the? I we're I I'm embarrassed that we called this the best team in America right now. All right, guys, it's time. You are about to witness 
the saddest, most heartbreaking own goal in Rocket League history. We've talked about goals that meant something. We've talked about goals that didn't really mean anything. This literally meant everything for the Renegades. At our most recent RLCS LAN, match point overtime. If the Renegades lose this match, they go home. If they win this match, they qualify for day three. And of course, it has to happen in a nine minute overtime. So I will say no more, just watch what happens. Sends high, oh my goodness, Torsas up for it. Back down, Sticky puts it away. Casio could win the game, but Kami has him blocked. And now back in front of the box, Torsas. What? Sticky no! Bits. You're kidding! Absolute tragedy for Renegades! Torsas taking his time. He knew he had all the time in the world to get up to it. And his teammate panics and just smashes it into their own goal. Tragedy is the perfect word to describe that. <laughs> you have got to be kidding me. All right, guys, thanks for watching this one. I hope you enjoyed it, I guess, in some sort of morbid way. Maybe it helps knowing that you're not the only player who randomly bangs the ball into your own goal at mock speed. Anyways, hope you guys are having a good week, and we'll see you next time. Peace out.